Hi anyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to do a quick haul video of some of the cheap nail stuff I've been finding on eBay and see if anyone else might find it useful. First was all these pump bottles. I originally bought this pink one for acetone. After I put it in there, a couple of pumps of using it, the pump thing gets stuck to the bottom and no liquid comes out at all. But I had already purchased the purple one of this style and then it came so I put my alcohol in there and it works a treat. I absolutely love it. These come in four different colours so I went back and bought the pink one in hopes that I could use this one for acetone but I've put it in there and the same thing happens. This kind of gets stuck and it the insides come separate from within the bottle and it doesn't the liquid doesn't come up but after you can open it up force it back in and you'll get a little while out of it but you've just got to be really gentle so I don't know whether the acetone is just too potent for the internal plastics of them but I want to go back and get the blue and silver for this set because I like them so much but every time I go back to the cellar they're already sold out but these ones are only two dollars fifty six this one was a dollar ninety four and now I don't use it and then I had bought this one which I was going to use for monomer and this one was three fifty eight but I'm a bit afraid to put the monomer in it because all the insides are the same plastic and then if I put the monomer in it and the lid jams down as well then I've got to stuff around trying to get all the monomer back out of it but I'll attempt it at some point just to see how it goes with monomer over the acetone next I was going to talk about some of the forms I've been getting now I used to use the reusable ones plastic practice fingers but they're pretty crappy and then I had these ones these are like the cheapest ones you can get and these are crap they're just garbage they don't they're not tacky they don't stay tacky when you put them on their fingers so then I went and got these ones the butterflies these were four dollars twenty three I think there's I don't want to say five hundred maybe a hundred and then I went back and got some of these ones for a different shape and these were a dollar eighty nine for a hundred as well and these were both really good if I'm comparing them to the NSI forms that I have, th there's not much of a difference, only the price, uh, these are worth a fortune, they're the same thing, they do the same thing, and I just keep using these, these ones, I only really use the NSI if I'm doing like one, one sculpt, if only one broke, but if I'm going to go for them, I'm going to pick the cheaper ones, just because they're easier to buy. Then, oh, I'll mention this really quickly, the hand pillow, it was only $3.20, I don't do anybody else's nails, I only do my own, but I do rest my hand on it when I'm using my drill, as you can see, it's been catching and ripping up the thing. But this is removable, so you can wash it, which I like. But that was only $3.20, so I got that just because it looks cute on the table. Next was I got this little holder thing for the drill headpiece, which was... $2.93 and this is the only one that I could find there was no other colors no other styles no nothing so I just went with that one then I also got the little drill bit holder container which was $2.65 I was a little bit disappointed with this only because the holes that the drill bits go into they range in different sizes but they're all still too big for any type of drill bit that I have but it was cheap and it looks cute so I got that as well then I got oh, I'll mention these really quickly I have a really old pair of these and then I've got a more a better brand pair of these they're both getting a bit tattered so I just bought a new set for $3.62 they do the job cute color got them then I went for risky one and got bought this it was in the makeup section obviously and I thought it was gonna be one of those things where it looks better in the picture but then it shows up and it's too small and it's crappy I've been using this little kabuki for years now and I thought well if it comes out good then I've got a new one with a big handle and this was $3.12 super soft looks pretty I'm glad it came out way bigger than I expected next was this little doohickey these are all really cheap you can get um fancy brand ones i think this was from nsi i think 
and they're worth heaps. I don't really use that one, but I got this one and I use this just for standard nail polish when I'm painting my daughter's nails because I've got to hold her hand steady and it was only $1.33 and I really like it when I'm doing her nails. I don't necessarily use it for mine, I just sit the bottle on the table, but when I'm doing her little hands, it works out well. Then I got this cuticle pusher, which was $1.00. Just thought I'd have it as a spare. I've got a lot of the metal ones. I don't really have any like this. I haven't used it yet because I, like, I prefer my other ones better. But for a dollar, I thought I'd just grab it just in case. Then the most expensive thing I bought. This is the only thing. No, one other thing that I got in Australia. This one was ten ninety nine. It's pretty dear, but I wanted to. I wanted to get a good one. I didn't want to wait a long time. So I thought it's got the pusher in it, the little cutter piece on the end, and then it's got the pinches. I'm not really good at using it, I've only used it once or twice, but I wanted a good quality one for if I start to get into it and want to have something better to be doing it with. Then I got extra little dab and dishes, and you can get those normal ones that have the tiny little ones and they have no lid or whatever. But I got these ones for $2.05 each. I've used this one a fair bit, that's getting old now. And then I like the little heart one. I do have a fancy, flashy brand one. It's obviously better, but I've been leaning towards a little love heart one just because it looks so cute. As you can tell, I like things that are cute. <laughs> then, then I, got to, I want to talk about these files. They all come in packs of 10. These ones, which say OPI, that's not genuine brand. That's just a fake. These were $3.91 for 10. And I actually really like these ones. If I'm comparing them to a bigger brand again, they're quite comparable to the NSI ones. These are good for me. I don't have to feel like I'm throwing money in the bin if I get sick of one and I just want to throw it out. They're pretty cheap. I'll keep, I think I'll keep going back to them ones when I'm for myself just to save on the money. And then I also got some of these, the more of the buffing type ones. These were $2.25. I don't, they're all right. I don't really like them personally. I prefer to use a buffing block, but they're all right for the price. I used them a little bit. I'll probably end up going back to it at some point to use them up, but I don't know if I'll repurchase that one. And then these ones were three dollars forty-five of the ten, and these are absolute garbage. These ones are terrible. I don't. I won't buy these ones again. Even if you score them, they still cut ya, and they're a one set type of thing. You file for a little bit. You just it just comes back to bare nothing. You use it once, and then you throw it away, which I suppose is good if you're doing someone else's nails for disposable, but. I'm not, I'm not going to get them again. You can't. You don't get enough use out of them, even though they are cheap. The Born Pretty No Wipe Top Coat. This one, I actually really like this. I, this was only cheap. What was it? $3.54. And for a No Wipe Top Coat, that's actually pretty good. And again, comparing it to a bigger brand, La Chat, and then I've got the Nail Nails Mega Gloss, NSI, Glaze and Go, and a Hawley one. And this is comparable. I'll, I still will lean to this one. I don't think it wears any differently for a cheaper product. I actually really was happy about this. I think I'll get a lot more of these ones. And I got this little three piece of these tools, which they're $1.47 for the three. And I wanted to get them for the silicone ends for clean up around the edges. And as you can see this one, as soon as I put it in the acetone and put it on my nails, it completely broke off, totally fragile. So then I went back and I found these ones for $3.65. They say they're born pretty. And dip these in the acetone, clean around the edges, no problem whatsoever. They're actually a lot sturdier on the end. I really like these, so I've been using these a fair bit. They were a good buy. I like them ones. Then I'll get into the stamping stuff. Now this, I remember looking on the actual Born Pretty website, and it was fairly dear, I think, but I managed to find it on eBay for $7.99. Just the stamping plates holder got the divider where you can have the round or the square and then you go to the middle and it holds the big plates in there. I don't have a whole lot of stamping plates, I've only just started getting into it so I wanted to have something to put them in that look nice. Most of the ones that go into this one are the Born Pretty Plates. And then I got this little doohickey bag thing. This was just for all of my round generic no brand plates which I don't really use a whole lot of but I wanted something to put them in. So I saw this little bag, thought that might match as well. So I got that one was, this one was only $1.50, so I was pretty happy with the price of that one. 
Then I went and bought this one. This one I was a bit disappointed with in the pictures. Obviously the colour looked a whole lot different. This was supposed to be a really nice light pink, more like this pillow. And it's, I don't, I'm not a fan of the colour. But I only got it as it's a card holder, scraping cards for the nail stampers. So just got that to keep all the scrapers in, nice and handy. Matches with the others. I tried, I just use standard nail polish for stamping. I've got hundreds of bottles, so I sat there for hours one day and went through every single one with all different types of stampers to see which ones came off good, which ones didn't, and I came down, I actually ended up with a whole heap of different brands that work good that aren't actual stamping polish. But then, so I decided to see the difference, so I went and bought this. This was only a dollar, so I thought I'll try it, because white's more dominant colour than I grab. And it, it actually does make a difference it, it, compared to, I have three different standard polish whites that I liked, but this is definitely much better than all three of those. So I'm glad that I got it for a dollar. I might go back and get black and, you know, some other staple colours just because it's a dollar is so cheap. But I did, I was happy with that. Then just trying to have luck with what kind of stamper works for me with which polish. So this one is the only other thing that I got in Australia. This was $4.94. Came with the three and each of them have their own scraper. And because I saw in another video, I think she was an Australian girl, I can't remember the channel name now, of um, her using these ones and she had a lot of luck with this one. So I thought, I'll try this. Out of these three, turns out the one that I have the most luck with is the green one. Then I got, had this one, I, already, I bought all these at the same time, so it was just who, whichever arrived first that I would play with first. So then I got this one and I played around with this one for ages. Just the silicone, you can change the head. I could not seem to get this to work with any polish, any plate, any anything, and I was complaining to my fiance about it, and he came out, picked it up, rolled it on, and got it to work straight away. The only difference was that I was, I tried stamping down and going from right to left. He grabbed it, went left to right, it worked. So now every time I do it, I go from left to right, and it seems to work. So this is probably the better, best one that I have out of the lot. I think then this one showed up next. The little silver thing, come in a little container. I liked it that came in the container. Same sort of head. Not sure if that one might just fit on this one. I can't get this one to work at all. I didn't actually get him to try because I had already learnt the left to right system by then. But I tried every single way with everything and I can't get this one to work. Now this one, I won't link this one below because this, out of everything that I got, this is the only thing that I didn't leave positive feedback for because I tried it so many different ways. And I think, how much was this one? This one was only $2.47, but I thought I'm not going to leave good feedback out of all the others that I've got around the same price. This one is just a no-go. Then, I think this was the last one that came. This one was $2.57, and I haven't had much luck with this one either, although this one's probably the prettiest looking. I haven't had much luck, but I haven't leaned to playing with this one. I don't know why, it's quite a nice one, but once I figured the method to get this one to work, I've just leant towards that one, and then if I'm doing a bigger picture, I've gone towards the green one, because I know that works well too. I think I... Last I was going to talk about was these little latex things, which you put around the edges of your nails when you're stamping or polishing, whatever the case may be, and you let it dry for a couple of seconds and then when you're finished you peel it off around the edges. This one was $1.93 and then this one was $1.49, so pretty similar. I accidentally didn't realise I had already did one as buy it now and I had already bid it on the other and I ended up winning the bid without even going back to it, so I ended up with two. But I'm, I'm, as far as I recall, I think this one is better than the Born Pretty one. So I'm lent more towards this one. I mean, I don't think it's all that great. I, for me, it's just as easy to get a Q-tip with some acetone and go around where you've got your stamper, where you don't want it. But I did have a go at them. They were pretty cheap. Might use them again. I'll see how I go. Anyway, I hope that you'll enjoy this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Bye.